Initial findings from the civil servant Sue Gray's report into parties in Downing Street and Whitehall has been published and highlights what it calls failures of leadership and judgment by number 10. In Parliament, Boris Johnson said he accepted the findings in full as he faced questions and criticism from MPs. The SNP Westminster leader Ian Blackford was thrown out of the Commons after accusing the Prime Minister. Thousands of homes in the North East and the Highlands have spent another day without power following a weekend of severe weather. More than 80,000 homes lost supply during Storm Malik on Saturday before Storm Corey hit around 40,000 more yesterday. Many of the same communities were only just drawing breath after the damage from Storm Arwen a couple of months ago. Work from home are being relaxed from today, but we're unlikely to see a return to the days of old with huge offices packed full of people. Not yet anyway, because employers are being urged to consider hybrid working, with employees spending some time in the office and some... Now we're into the final few hours of football's transfer window. It closes here at midnight. The big story of the day has been the arrival in Scotland of the Wales and Juventus midfielder Aaron Ramsey, who's close to signing for Rangers. Well, our sports reporter, Cardine Atsan, is at Ibrox Forest tonight. Cardine, what's the latest? Yeah, Ed, no, yeah. I'll invite you to my 101. <laughs> oh, thanks, Judith. <laughs> thanks very much, Laura. A very good evening. Thanks, Judith. And that is reporting Scotland for now. We will have a late bulletin for you just after the 10 o'clock news. Until then, from everyone in the team right across the country, do have a very good evening. Good night.